American families wait 18 months for a house to be built. Pay $400,000. Watch costs climb every week. Meanwhile, in Mexico, engineers just built 50 homes in four months for $4,000 each. They're not shacks. Three-bedroom houses that survived earthquakes. In Denmark, a 60-unit apartment building went from empty lot to families moving in within three weeks. Same safety codes as traditional buildings, 90% faster. When officials toured these sites, one called it impossible. Then, the data proved otherwise. The construction industry just had its biggest disruption in 100 years. Here's what changed. For years, China held the construction speed record. Skyscrapers in weeks, entire neighborhoods appearing overnight. The world watched and assumed they were the only ones innovating. They weren't. While everyone focused on China, engineers in 14 countries were quietly testing techniques that made Chinese methods look slow. The difference? China scaled up existing methods. These new techniques changed the methods entirely. We're talking about construction that happens in hours instead of months, costs dropping by 90%, and buildings that actually get stronger over time instead of weaker. Most people think this is future technology. It's not. Right now, in at least six US states, crews are using these methods. The houses look normal from the outside, but how they were built would seem impossible to someone from just 10 years ago. Three techniques stand out above the rest. The first one eliminates nearly every step of traditional construction. And it starts with a machine most people have never seen. Picture a robotic arm the size of a crane. It moves on metal tracks around a concrete foundation. From its nozzle, concrete flows like thick cake frosting. The arm traces the outline of a wall. Then another layer on top, then another. No bricks, no blocks, no human hands touching anything. Just concrete stacking itself into walls. This is 3D concrete printing, and it's not experimental anymore. A company in Austin, Texas, printed a 2,000-square-foot house in 27 hours. The concrete mixture dries as it prints. By the second day, the structure was ready for windows and electrical. A traditional build for the same house, four to six months minimum. This machine did it over a weekend. The precision is what nobody talks about. Every layer lands exactly where the computer says. No gaps between bricks, no human error, no weather delays. The walls come out smoother than traditional construction could achieve, even with perfect conditions. And the cost? That Texas house cost $10,000 in materials and machine time. The same house built traditionally runs $200,000. But speed means nothing if the buildings fall apart. That Mexican neighborhood with 50 homes? They're three years old now. Survived two earthquakes measuring 6.1 and 5.7. Survived hurricane force winds. Survived temperature swings from 35 to 105 degrees. Zero structural damage. The concrete is actually stronger than traditional mixing because the printing process removes air pockets. Now take that concept and apply it to entire apartment buildings. A company in China printed a five-story building in one week. Not the frame, the entire structure, including curved architectural details that would take months to build with traditional methods. The building passed the same safety inspections as conventionally built structures. It just finished 90% faster. But 3D printing still requires a foundation and utilities to be placed first. The next technique eliminates even that delay. Imagine a hotel room built inside a factory. Walls, ceiling, floor, bathroom, furniture, TV mounted and wired, everything complete. Then imagine lifting that entire room with a crane and stacking it like a shipping container. That's modular construction. And it just built a 168-room hotel in 48 hours. The project happened in Sweden. Each room was manufactured in a climate-controlled factory 200 miles away. Plumbing installed. Electrical done. 
beds made, even artwork on the walls. The modules arrived on trucks. Cranes stacked them eight stories high. Workers connected the utilities between modules. Guests checked in two days after the first module was placed. Traditional timeline for that hotel? 16 months. The cost difference is staggering. That Swedish hotel cost $8.2 million total. A conventional build for the same specifications runs $18 to $22 million. The savings come from factory efficiency. No weather delays. No theft from construction sites. No workers standing around waiting for previous tasks to finish. The assembly line builds modules simultaneously while the foundation is being prepared. Denmark took this further. They built social housing, 60 apartments for low-income families, three weeks from empty lot to families moving in. Each apartment arrived complete with kitchen appliances installed and bathroom tiles grouted. The buildings meet identical safety codes as traditional construction, fire resistance, earthquake standards, insulation requirements, all the same. Just assembled like furniture instead of built from scratch. But even modular construction can't match what engineers did with bridges in Japan. They found a way to install a bridge without stopping traffic. The method sounds impossible until you see it happen. Highway 7 outside Tokyo carries 80,000 cars daily. Replacing a bridge normally means closing the road for months. Engineers shut it down for six hours. At 11 p.m., they closed both directions. By 5 a.m., a new 400-foot bridge was in place. Traffic resumed at morning rush hour. The bridge wasn't built over the gap. It was built beside the highway, then slid sideways into position. Here's how it works. The new bridge is assembled on land next to where it needs to go. Every piece fitted together perfectly, tested and inspected while traffic keeps flowing on the old bridge. Then at night, hydraulic machines lift the old bridge out and slide the new one in. The bridge moves on special low-friction bearings coated with material smoother than ice. Synchronized hydraulic jacks push from multiple points so the bridge stays level as it moves. The whole bridge slides through the air like a massive drawer closing. Once it's in position, workers bolt it to the support columns, connect the roadway, remove the machinery, open the road. This technique saved Tokyo $4 million in economic losses from traffic delays. A traditional replacement would have meant detours for eight months. Businesses along that route estimated losses of $500,000 per month from reduced traffic. The bridge launch prevented that entirely. But the real shock isn't the speed, it's the safety record. Bridge launching has been used 200 times across Japan, Netherlands, and Switzerland. Zero failures, zero injuries during installation. The bridges are actually more stable because they're assembled under ideal conditions and moved as one piece instead of built section by section over water or traffic. Still, all these techniques have one limitation. They're building with the same materials we've used for decades. Some engineers asked a different question. What if the materials themselves could be revolutionary? A crack appears in a concrete bridge in Rotterdam. Water seeps in. Within three weeks, the crack is gone. Not patched, gone. The concrete healed itself. Scientists mixed bacteria into the concrete before it was poured. The bacteria sit dormant for years, waiting. When a crack forms and water enters, the bacteria wake up. They consume calcium compounds in the concrete and produce limestone. That limestone fills the crack from the inside out, bonding the two sides together. The bacteria go dormant again once the crack seals. That Rotterdam bridge is eight years old. It's been monitored continuously. Cracks that appeared in year two have completely disappeared. The concrete is stronger now than when it was first poured. Traditional concrete bridges need major repairs every 10 to 15 years. This one may never need structural work. The cost difference over time is massive. A traditional bridge repair runs two to five million dollars depending on size. This bridge has cost zero dollars in maintenance. 
The bacteria-infused concrete costs 20% more up front, but over a 50-year lifespan, it saves millions. Germany took the biological approach even further. The BIQ house in Hamburg has walls filled with living algae. Glass panels contain water and algae cultures. The algae absorb sunlight and produce heat in the winter. In summer, the algae grow thicker, blocking more sunlight and keeping the building cool. It's a natural thermostat that adjusts itself. When the algae grow too thick, they're harvested and converted into biofuel. The building produces its own heating fuel. It's been operational since 2013. Energy costs are 30% lower than comparable buildings. The algae system has run for 11 years with minimal maintenance, just water and nutrients added occasionally. But living materials are only one approach. Some engineers went the opposite direction. Materials so advanced, they seem like science fiction. NASA designed a material for spacecraft that can withstand 2,000 degree heat. Now it's in homes. It's called aerogel. Hold a blowtorch to one side of a thin aerogel sheet. The other side stays cool enough to touch. Place a flower on top while fire burns underneath. The flower doesn't even wilt. This material is 95% air. It's lighter than styrofoam, but stronger than steel by weight. And it's the best insulator on Earth. A layer one inch thick provides more insulation than six inches of fiberglass. Buildings using aerogel cut heating costs by 60 to 70%. A retirement home in Minnesota installed aerogel insulation in 2018. Their heating bill dropped from $8,000 per month to $2,400. Over five years, they've saved $336,000. The installation cost $180,000. They broke even in less than three years. Meanwhile, construction sites are running with no human workers. Singapore has fully automated construction zones. Robots lay bricks at the rate of 3,000 per day. A human mason averages 500. The robots work 24 hours without breaks, no errors, no injuries. A high-rise in Tokyo was built with 80% robotic labor. Humans only handled final inspections and specialized tasks the robots couldn't manage. The building finished four months ahead of schedule, came in 30% under budget. The robots don't replace workers entirely. They handle repetitive tasks while humans supervise and solve problems. But even with robots and advanced materials, there's one technique that's faster than all of them combined. The numbers tell the real story. That Mexican neighborhood, 50 homes in Tabasco. Total cost, $200,000 for all 50. That's $4,000 per house. The average Mexican home costs $45,000 to build conventionally. Timeline, four months from empty land to families moving in. Traditional construction for 50 homes, two years minimum. Those aren't temporary shelters. Full houses with two bedrooms, bathroom, kitchen, living room, concrete walls eight inches thick, metal roofs, proper foundations, and they've proven durable. The families living there have been interviewed multiple times. No complaints about structural issues, no cracks, no leaks, no problems. In Denmark, that 60-unit apartment complex cost $4.8 million total. That's $80,000 per apartment. Traditional construction in Denmark runs $180,000 to $220,000 per unit. The modular approach saved 60%. Timeline, three weeks assembly after modules were built. Traditional build, 14 to 18 months. The BIQ house in Hamburg with algae walls cost $6 million to build in 2013. Expensive, but energy savings of $40,000 per year mean it will pay for the extra cost over time. More importantly, it proved the concept works long term. 11 years of continuous operation with no major system failures. That self-healing concrete bridge in Rotterdam added $200,000 to the construction cost. Traditional concrete would have needed $3 million in repairs by now. 
the bacteria-infused concrete has already saved $2.8 million. These aren't experiments, they're operational buildings and infrastructure with years of proven performance. The technology works. The question isn't whether it's viable. The question is why it's not everywhere yet. And that answer involves the moment when officials realized what this technology really meant. Multiple sources confirm it happened in 2019. A delegation of government officials and construction industry leaders toured several sites. The exact location changes depending on who tells the story. Some say Dubai, others mention Amsterdam, a few claim Shanghai. What matters is what they saw. Most likely it was a 3D printing demonstration building a structure in real time or possibly a bridge launch where a massive structure moved through the air in minutes. Reports describe officials stopping mid-conversation. One allegedly requested to see the demonstration repeated because it seemed impossible the first time. The reaction wasn't just impressed, it was stunned. These were people who'd spent careers in construction seeing something that defied their understanding of what was possible. Buildings rising in hours, bridges moving through space, costs dropping to fractions of normal cost. Within six months, funding for construction technology research tripled across multiple countries. Government contracts for modular housing accelerated. International competition intensified. What those officials realized was simple. The housing crisis, crumbling infrastructure, disaster relief, all solvable problems. The technology existed, only implementation remained. Whether it was one specific technique or a combination doesn't matter. What matters is the shift that followed. Construction technology went from experimental curiosity to national priority. Countries that invested early now have advantages. China isn't the only one building fast anymore. But that 2019 demonstration is already outdated. What's being tested now makes everything we've covered look primitive. Labs in three countries are testing construction methods 50 times faster than 3D printing. One uses sound waves to position materials in mid-air, building without touching anything. Another uses thousands of tiny robots instead of one large machine, swarm construction that adapts in real time. Early tests in Iceland showed a 200-square-foot structure assembled in 90 minutes. There's one technique that's currently restricted in most countries. The reason reveals more about politics than engineering. It involves materials that rebuild themselves without any external input. Structures that grow stronger over time, adapting to stress patterns. The first test building has been operating since 2021 